Hey Star. Hi everybody. Let's move this so it doesn't end up on the floor. <laughs> what if we start the stream with the most horrible noises possible? Hey Annabeth. My voice on the quiet side? Yeah, maybe a little. Okay, I'm gonna figure this out. What's going on here? Why are we not clicking? Is there no click? Click? Click. That's what it's supposed to sound like. Hi, everybody. Caption should be on now. Hello. That causing a problem? Click. Click. It was causing problems. Okay. Oof. Don't get frustrated, just stop being stupid. Have I water? I might not. I might have forgotten the water. Oh, I, I definitely forgot to bring fresh water. The question is, do I have water left over from last time? Still not seeing captions, but the captions are on, so the wrong recording device is set as default. Microphone. Yeah, that's the wrong microphone. Microphone check. And again, there it is. Great. Let's do this gently and try not to kick up kick a bunch of dust off of my apron. Tomorrow's haircut day. It's happening. It's gotta happen.
I'm actually thinking of just letting the bot automate the, the Twitter message instead of putting pressure on myself to go and do that at the start of every stream. Just have it grab the... the title. Maybe create a, a handful of... different options. Oh, apron's dirty. Dirty, dirty. Grethia, hello. Okay, so I had this idea earlier. I want to use this because it's efficient, even though the wire is broken. Should I fix that right now? Am I going to fix it ever if I don't fix it right now? You're glowing. Yes. These wire cutters are not made for cutting ferrous metals. <laughs> you have no idea what that means. That means that somebody has given you points, and the points are used toward... Um, indirectly toward getting free pottery from my studio. There's the explanation right there. Okay. So I'm not quite ready to throw yet, but I'm, I'm here. I'm hanging out with you. It doesn't really matter if I'm making stuff, right? Because the important part is the time we spend together. <laughs> I think. Uh, so my idea to take one of my extra wires that are all messed up and install it in here instead of the piano wire which was not flexible enough and to use a plywood shim to adjust the thickness so that's two things to grab two things The important part is the time we spend together. Hey, stump monkey. You've made four small pots so far. It's a good start. It's a great start. If you're making pots, that means you know how to center. But even, it's a pull saw, a draw saw, pull saw. I'm thinking I'm going to do slightly smaller um, sections of clay 
just by inserting this in here and leaving it there. I'm trying to decide if I should saw it off so it doesn't tip over. I just have a saw. Introduce some sawdust to this workspace. Is that noise horrible? I'm going to I'm going to mute. I'll go ahead and mute. Not bad, they say. Different, but not horrible. Let's just do one of those for now. I think next time I build this, I'm going to use a jeweler's saw to hold the, the cutting part, the, the wire. Because the jeweler's saw has a nice big D shape arch to it. I don't think they're very expensive. Okay, it's going all right. How are you? How's everybody doing? These are nice little sections. And I contacted one of my maker friends about making me a, a custom die to fit on my pug mill to push out little two inch pugs instead of the three inch. That's a three inch and I want it smaller. So when I'm doing little half pound throws, I don't end up with just a flat disc of clay from the three inch pug. So that could be nice. <laughs> Actual rain. That sounds nice. I'd like some actual rain. Although the news is trying to convince us to be afraid of super floods now.
Easy. I mix this clay up softer than I usually do. So I'm hoping it centers easier. It's just more responsive in general. Where, where is that, that you're getting flood alerts every time? Or is it like just your local situation? Because I know some places are like floodplains. I remember looking for a place to live. Uh, out on like a river delta. We kept being told, like, we won't be able to get insurance, property insurance. <clears throat> Flood insurance or something, I don't know. Insurance companies just say no, no thank you. As we all know, clay does not like to just hang horizontally over space. <clears throat> Excuse me. And as I just pointed out, this clay is kind of on the soft side. So I'm going for that big tea bowl overhang. Hydrate, thank you. I don't know if we'll be able to achieve quite what I'm looking for with this this soft clay. Let's fix that camera. I wish there was a way to control the focus of the Logitech camera using the Stream Deck. That'd be nice. Okay, enjoy the macrame. Who else has something going on? Craft, chore, some, some kind of work. And who's just sitting and chilling? Let me know. I'm always interested. So that's what we're doing tonight, I've decided. Just throwing tea bowls. Dishwasher. Okay, it's doing dishes. Thank you. 
Oh, the bobbin. I like the bobbin. The bobbin makes it a bun. Actually, that last one I was thinking about cutting the lip so that it was wobbly on purpose. I decided to just let it be. Don't force the wobble. If you get a wobble, love the wobble. Yeah. Yeah. Let's play with the wobble one on this one, even though I just said not to do that. Doing too much. Yeah, or like a, a water bowl for a cat or something. I'm really pleased with the amount of clay that ended up getting cut from that jig. This feels like just the right amount. centered. Hey, String Daddy. How's it going?
it looks like. Noise filters on. Yeah, I'm doing all right. I need a little bit of exercise myself, I think. It's been hot in my zone. I don't have air conditioning, so I have a tendency to just try to hold still more. I mean, I think that lack of activity starts to affect my mood. I'm just not as happy a person when I spend the whole day sitting around. I need to start doing some daily fitness routines. Conditioners on. Let me know if that gets to be um, distracting, and I'll turn on the noise filter. Actually, I'm just gonna do it. I'm just gonna turn on the noise filter. I'm going to turn the noise filter off now. That's not so bad. I remembered to mute the mic that's over right next to and pointed directly at the air conditioner tonight. It should be something. Is the filter on or off? That's with filter off. I'll just leave it off. Or that was with filter on, rather. Yeah, it's just so frustrating. That I've spent all this time trying to come up with solutions for sound in this room. To make the stream sound as good as I can get it. And now it's just like I have to run the air conditioner and I have to have the air conditioner hooked up in this room. I don't have, I can't afford the quiet solution. It should be the ductless heat exchanger not right now I just put in a redwood fence uh,
happy about it looks good it has me inspired to put a little more effort into my backyard I've given up on it Just... the drought is bad and I don't want to be a careless contributor to our future uh, water-based collapse But you can still make it look nice, even if it's kind of barren. You can keep it clean, keep it kept. Yeah, I haven't irrigated in like seven years. We did do a little garden last last year. I think spending water on food is okay. That's fine. Growing grass. Doesn't seem right. Thinking about trying to put in some of that artificial turf in the backyard just to make something a little easier for the kid to run on. I didn't hydrate. I mean, I have a little bit of experience running on it. I used to mess around with some friends out on artificial turf football field. Yeah, you can take your skin off. So can the dirt, though. Blake, how are you doing tonight? Yeah, I'm not a fan of the the bark the wood chips for uh, safe landing material. 
Uh, there is a, a native clover that's a good ground cover, but um, it's not nice to walk on, and it sprouts burrs and then dries up and turns into spikes. <laughs> it's really good at surviving. It's dry out here right now. Yeah, either artificial turf or want to try. I've been wanting to try um, underground drip line and minimize the evaporative loss. Nice wobble you got there. I like it. Show me more. Be a shame if somebody straight. This one might not survive. 
That's okay. Just keep making. I haven't been listening to my, my cues at all. I hope I haven't missed anything. That was a, a ghost. I hope that was a good one. I didn't notice. My headphones are not plugged in. This is relaxing. Clay is nice. The forms are a little 
scary, a little perilous. They're going to be scary again, too, when I trim them, because the, the feet are supposed to be a little taller than what I normally leave on a piece. So I'm not going to be able to just use muscle memory to tell me when to stop cutting. Wobble, wobble. Oh, wow. They're gonna make it. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. It's alright. A little too aggressive. Pretty good run, though. Hmm. Hydrate and stretch, good idea. Here we go. Or to stretch. Why is this so hard to get out? Is the clay stickier? Alright, 
So we're going to switch from Chawan to You Know Me. These will be tall and thin. Tea bowls, or teacups, rather. <clears throat> Done enough. That's how I like my dishes. As nice as it is to have like a sparkling clean kitchen. remember switching cup types so I don't need to widen out when it's come up. Want to be famous? If I wanted to be famous, I'd be yelling about something right now. So right here is where the extra clay tends to hide, right in that corner where the bottom of the cup meets the wall of the cup. I'm going to try and grab that and fit up. And you can see this has become too tall to, become, to be a useful cup. Whoopsie. Actually, that's pretty nice. It's not what I was going for, but if you had a set of these in your kitchen, I think they'd be good. Happy to drink from them. Hey, you're... turned out to be too thin in the walls and too large in volume. <laughs> Stepping on my own headphone cables.
So for these cups, as fun as it is to throw delicate cups, I need to remember to leave more clay, more thickness on the side wall. Still be a nice water cup. No hot drinks, it's too thin. Can you imagine playing beer pong with a bunch of handmade cups? What would that group of people look like? Same basic shape, thicker walls, lower volume. Laura, thank you for the bubbles. It's nice to see you. How are you? doing well. Life is good. Today ended up being a low energy day. I struggled with everything. Just, uh...
people. Um, and I think that that could be difficult to achieve in the shorter streams. But I don't actually know what I'm talking about, so it could be untrue. It's just how I feel, my impression. I think that I would enjoy having the stream take off. Be wildly popular. Stop feeling like I'm trying to make something happen. Instead, just relax and enjoy being here. Who said that? I never, I would never. <laughs> hey, DJ. Nice to see you. Good evening. just now. the thumbnail mark down around the bottom. I think that's going to make it feel nice and grippy once the glaze is on. Tonight is kind of a uh, contemplation of the Thousand Cups project that I've been talking about for like a year, maybe even more. I've been talking about sitting down and just throwing a thousand cups. So I'm thinking I'll use maybe this amount of clay right around there. Good night, Kay. Then I'll have another camera mounted just straight to my wheel. So that that doesn't move, it'll be a hard mount. And then I'll throw a cup. And then I'd like to figure out a way to set up a macro where I can hit a pedal. And then I'll either take a short video clip of the cup spinning or just a, uh, a photo using the webcam. And compile those into it video go to stop motion
spinning camera mounted to my wheel, that sounds disastrous. Although they do make wireless things. Well, why not? Hey everybody, I noticed some of you haven't entered the monthly giveaway. There's really not a reason for that to be so. Use your channel point. Use your channel point and enter the giveaway. It stops being a valid reason once the reminder goes out. If you're thinking, oh, I don't really want to enter the giveaway because I don't want to deprive somebody else of being able to win, you're so nice. But you should do it anyway. For me, because I want to see that monthly giveaway entry count go up. I like it. you'd rather not because you don't want to give me your address to send you stuff uh, we can come up with digital rewards instead Ooh. quiet and tranquility that sounds lovely your son who was hanging out in here the other night with us Nice. I've been feeling like I could use some alone time out in the woods. Things went really bad. As things are prone to do when you leave the house. Not every time, just generally speaking, the farther you get from your your stable comfort zone, the more likely things are to get away from you. It's 
to the adventure, regardless of what your expectations were. New 3D printer is now functional. You got a 3D printer and a, a laser CNC, right? Nice. Yeah, one of the things that adventuring is for is learning for next time. Eight thirty. We're halfway through the stream. We might be doing a week of short streams because I called it early last night uh, and then punched my sculpture right in the face. <clears throat> Today, like I was mentioning, it's been a very tired day, raining.
Oops. Oops, too thin. Let's go ahead and dissect that. <clears throat> Maybe this is the point in the stream where I should be taking a break, standing up and walking away from the screen for a little while, coming back and feeling refreshed. Actually, not too thin. It's just that the clay is so soft. You can see I, I didn't get a sharp corner down here. I hadn't gotten to it yet. I grabbed too tight. Right there. Clay is soft. That's about the thickness that I want for the cup. Maybe a little thinner. That's too thin. Pizza heartburn. I'm going to do two more throws and then take a little stand-up break and see how I feel. Looking teacup. Well, was before I did that. Ah, it's alright. It's all right. It's ruined. Ooh, it was getting to me. It was pretty. It did a good job. It was just... Just a little too much. The frequency.
do we do? Just trying different things. Playing around. This clay is soft, yeah. Well, we've got picked up a little bit of wobble on that last one. I noticed that okay so my camera sometimes uh, just slowly tilts on its own and I noticed that it, it had done that it was looking up where normally I want want it framed a little differently Oops. <laughs> Made a tall one. Um, now my professor in my beginning ceramics class, I took two beginning ceramics class and then I worked as the, as the studio technician uh, for a summer class. And he said that for beginners, the, the soft clay is the way to go. I think more for ease of centering but when i was starting i found that it was easier to have a really stiff clay because it would tolerate your mistakes and mishandling a little better um, where soft clay like it's easy to push it too far and then end up with a flop but i also found that working with stiff clay I couldn't do it for very long. My fingers would get sore really fast. Yeah, I wouldn't recommend going for a stiff clay if you've got uh, hand strength issues. Just because it, it is punishing to use a hard clay. Everyone. 
behind it. It would have been nice to have that nice clean throwing line all the way to the top. I didn't get the line right. This is soft. Or it was soft before I let the the clay sit out while I was throwing all the rest of it. I added a fair amount of water back in for or during processing. I won't throw stiff clay anymore. I guess I would. I would if I was trying to throw something really delicate. Mid so any type of clay can be hard or soft. All you have to do is add or remove water from it. So a mid to high fire white cone six to ten Dover Rocky Mountain clay. Um, wouldn't tell you about the firmness of it. Um, but if you're finding it to be too soft, then you just take it over to the plaster board and wedge it, knead it on the plaster board until it feels a little stiffer. And if you want it to be softer, the way that I do it is I, I cut it into strips like it's uh, cheese, I guess. And then I dip the slices into water and throw it back into a plastic bag. So each slice gets dipped and tossed back into the bag. And then I leave it for a day. And then I come back and I take all the slices and put them together and wedge that into uh, my ball of clay. And that will usually soften it up just the right amount for me. Yeah, and really it comes down to uh, if it's if it's hurting your hands to try and throw, then you want a softer clay. Um, and if you're finding that the clay gets soggy too fast, before you start thinking, well, maybe I should use a stiffer clay, just try and control the amount of water that you're using. Uh, during your throwing process, and that's going to help with uh, probably your your piece gets too soggy on the wheel. Some potters use a lot of water when they're throwing. I think when you use a lot of water, you have to be able to throw the piece succinctly in as few movements as possible and get the water out and get the piece uh, up on the wear board and ready to dry. But if you're going to use a lot of water and mess with the clay for a long, oh, a long time, you're going to run into problems. Bubbles! Many nails! Nice to see ya. And lurking right back. Thank you very much for the lurk. Thank you for the 22 month streak. Wow. Are there other clay making techniques or clay shaping techniques that you like that work better with your hands? Because throwing can be a very delicate uh, process, but there are a bunch of them that are way less precise. There's some nice looking cups on that board. Yeah, there's some cool um, hand building te techniques too that I don't think require 
such fine control. Slowing down the wheel will definitely help reduce the amount of water that you need. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, well then, in that case, like, just keep trying things. Keep trying things and with without the expectation of uh, making anything. One of the pieces of advice I give to, to people who are just starting out, which are really the only people I feel qualified to give any kind of advice to, <laughs> are the brand, brand newbies. Is to go into it and expect to destroy most of your stuff. Don't go in trying to make like a, a gift for mom, you know, or uh, anything like that. Just go in and expect to recycle your clay. Just destroy it and make the next piece and make the next piece. And while one of your classmates is um, fussing over a, a surface design for four hours, you've made 30 pieces and you're developing the the important making skill that you're looking for. Hey, Jones. <laughs> now, when I was first learning at the wheel, I was instructed that the uh, assignment was throw and destroy 20 bowls <laughs> and this was before any of us had figured out centering so you figure out how to center a piece you figure out how to how to do the opening you finally get to the bowl shape you're like okay i've been i've been sitting here for for hours and i finally got a bowl hooray and you got to destroy it and then try and make another one so by the time you've done 20 bowls, you've got some practice. Not only throwing, but also uh, recycling your clay. Ooh, yeah, recovery techniques. I'm throwing right now a piece of clay that did not get wedged, because I thought it would be funny. I understand what you're saying, Blake. In order to find the the possibilities, you have to go past the uh, the, the limit. full of bubbles and lumps <laughs> yeah it's just a this is a failed failed throw that i took off and balled up i didn't wedge it i didn't, didn't do anything so it's a little sticky it's a little bubbly it's a little wobbly <laughs> gonna keep it i'm just playing around right now
Hey, Blake. Happy wedging. Thanks for hanging out with me. Have a good night. It's a spoon. Yeah, I've been thinking I should make some scoops for um, the glaze, glaze ingredients. What do I want to do? What do I, something bigger. Switch it up a little bit. Since we're talking about bowls. Oh, didn't we just skip this one? Blowing a flute in my ears. What do I use for a kiln? Um, I have an old, old uh, Olympic electric that I retrofit with a PID controller. Uh, I use that for bisque firing. And I have a uh, big top-loading updraft gas kiln that I use for high-firing my pieces. I would keep an eye on Craigslist. Just check occasionally, see if anybody's got something. Or I think Facebook does a local buy and sell kind of thing. A little bit of a wobble here. Soft, soft. Finding a used one from somebody who's done with the hobby is probably the way to go. I got mine used. Spent two hundred dollars on the on the kiln. It's still going.
to put a little definition here at the lip. Off to bed. You have a good night. I'll probably be wrapping it up here soon as well. It looks like it's bedtime for a lot of people. It's been a very productive night. It's nice. Hey, thanks for hanging out. I enjoy being here. I think I am going to wrap it up. I don't see any reason to keep pushing. Hey! Eva, there's a reason to stay. Whenever you try pottery, a finished piece always seems to come out heavier than when it started. If you start with five pounds of clay, you wind up with a five pound base. Well, you, you do end up adding glaze, but I think some of that weight that you're feeling. I, this is just a guess based on my experience struggling with heavy ass pieces uh, is the, the balance of clay and leaving clay down around the base of the piece, especially tall pieces like bases. Uh, I struggle to move the clay from the bottom up into the walls. And once you cut it off, you go and pick it up. It feels heavier than it looks because uh, your eye sees the how much clay should be there um, but there's more hiding down in the bottom 
Well, thank you, thank you. Yeah, I'm throwing a really soft mixture of this clay tonight. I'm glad that it, it ended up being a bowl. watching pottery being made Eva is a fantastic pottery and ceramic artist you should go check her out I think that's the last piece I'm gonna do tonight I think I'm gonna stretch and listen to music uh, and just have quiet me time for a little while. I need that. <sighs> yeah. I'll trim this up tomorrow, along with all the cups that got done. Good night, Eva. Thanks for swinging by. Thanks for liking my bowl. We did some You Know Me. And we did some Chava. Watch me break this. Drop this. Tears. Seven tea bowls. Seven. One bowl. Pretty good night. Max, how are you doing? Yeah, it was good. The soft clay helps. And I made a... Uh, adjustments my jig that I use for cutting hooked clay. I added a little shim. This is for a pound of clay. So I added a little little spacer there so I'm getting less than a pound. It's just right the cups I was trying to make. Alright, you're trying to leave. I'm trying to wrap it up. Just gonna go ahead and press that button. Normally, I try to stream three nights a week, or three hours, three nights a week. I stream on Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Fridays, starting at 7 p.m. Pacific time. As you can see, I'm calling it a little early tonight. I don't feel bad about it at all. Star, thank you very much for throwing those socials in the chat. Much appreciated. Big thank you to all my mods. And to everybody who spends their time with me. I really do appreciate it. I'm going to try to find somebody to raid while we're sitting here. In uh, radio DJ mode. And... If you want to stick around and see where we're going, radio DJ mode. Oh no! My voice sounds terrible because of the... You know what? No. No. I don't wanna. I don't wanna read. I don't wanna deal with it. I'm just gonna log off. Good night. Good night. Good night.